That's what I'm talking about. Man, this is a big bike. Yeah. This thing's plush. I like it. I talked to my friend Lawson, and I'm like, you want to do this cannonball with me? And his single line response was, I've never wanted to do something more in my life. Here's the bike I wanted to get. I'm going to call her Stinky Pinky. It's only a 50cc. Oh, is it right here? It's right there. Oh, 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 dude. One mile. It'll be a fresh scooter for the ride. Yeah. There we go. This has bad idea written all over it. I would love to do it, but I got a daughter. Yeah, well, see, he's got a newborn. And, and, oh, that's and, amazing. And my his, wife was being rude. My first reaction was, oh, shit, because I knew that it would be just fucked up enough for him to actually consider doing it. Oh, God. I haven't been on a scooter since college. Probably should have asked how to put this thing on a kickstand. I spend half my time running interference, trying to keep people from telling him stupid ideas for fear that he will actually partake in them. Smooth. It's going to be cool. We're going to see some amazing stuff. I think. I haven't even looked at the route yet. Plan of the day is to try to get some more miles on the scooter. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking ride around in a circle until I hit 200 miles. This is uh, the dumbest thing I've ever chosen to do. We're in over our heads. Kind of freaked out, to be honest with you. I'm so ill-prepared for this, it's staggering. <laughs> I think the strategy is first day, get on the leaderboard. Well, that's what these guys said. It's not a race, it's sure, an endurance. It's, not a... it's an endurance. Yeah, it's not a race, <laughs> but somebody has to get there first. I think, I think in the end, it's not going to be who ends up winning this thing between me and Corey. It's who taps out first. <laughs> the closer I get to it, yeah. the more I'm thinking it's a great idea for other people to do it. It's only 10 days. <laughs> so it's going to be great. We've managed to uh, bend the handlebar in loading the bike. Look wow. at the handlebar. Oh, holy! Oh, yeah. Handlebar's still bent. You know, people say sleep like a baby, but I've been around babies, and they don't sleep well. Vancouver, Washington, get ready. Here we go. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Look at this handsome bastard. How you doing? Nice to see you. You want to see what I did to my scooter? Oh, shit. So, I'm going to go tomorrow to a... Uh, well, it does, give, you, it does give the illusion of, like, a, uh, a racing profile. It's just, yeah. 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 It's, just <laughs> it's just enough to give me a permanent back problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is your registration sticker? Yeah, yeah this is fancy. Number 27. Ooh, thank you. Look at this. And route sheets. Thank you. So now turn by turn directions of the official route. Only 19 turns to control point one. Yeah. Holy crap. I'll look at the route tonight. Yeah. I, would, I would highly <laughs> recommend that. Uh, Kim Cope called me. They've got a place called Right Away Motors here, mm -hmm. which is only like four miles away, and they might be able to uh, have my handlebar in stock. I just think every scooter should have a name, and that's the name of mine, Masshole. 
Um, we have to go. I need somebody to follow to there. Yes, my stupid camera is, for some reason, is hung up on this import. Oh, Kim. Lawson can drive. Thank you for calling Speed Permitting. Hey there, I'm doing a thing called the Scooter Cannonball Run. And I'd love to be able to do a decal for my scooter. Yeah, he's freaking out, isn't he? Brandon, let's go now, dude. I'm late. Fucking dick. We'll get there, don't worry. Oh, you jackal. Okay, man, we'll see ya. 4 p.m. Oh, shit. Fuck, 4 p.m.? What? When's that one come out? I gotta get my... My bike will be just showing up right around the time of that meeting, and I've gotta take it immediately to the local Vespa shop to have my rack installed. What the fuck? Oh, my God, the stress level just going up I and know, up and up. I know, especially that part about getting injured. What the fuck? Really? A lot of crashing? Yeah, crashing. Crashing. Dust cloud. Where's my bike? <laughs> the quote that got me was, there's been somebody seriously injured every year of the scooter cannonball run. One chick cut her leg wide open on a guardrail. Another guy got launched off his uh, bike when his drive belt blew in the middle of the turn and launched him like 70 feet in the air. Another guy almost died from a collapsed lung. I just had a baby. <laughs> How long are you gonna stay in Vancouver? We leave tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Yeah, yeah. That's why this is all crazy rush, rush, you know? I don't know if this is broken, but I think it's just stressed. And this will clip back in, maybe. If it doesn't close, it doesn't matter. I'll zip tie it. Corey's gonna shit his pants when I tell him I have to wait to upload this file just for this fucking s sticker. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, just give me a call. So maybe like three hours, four hours? Sure. Does that sound about right? Okay. Looks like the Kimco's pretty easy to work on, so that's is it. Big positive, yeah. How's it? All right, hold on one sec. If he breaks down, you're gonna stop to be with him, right? You're not no. gonna leave him behind? God, no, I'm gonna leave him behind. Oh, okay, well that changes yeah. everything. Yeah, we're, it's a race. Excuse me, what? <laughs> we're just trying to figure yeah. out what well, will if happen you if down, you break down, then I get more points on you, and, uh, and then I win, Lawson. That's how it works. You knew the rules when you, actually you didn't when you signed up. <laughs> Like you knew you knew the score when you signed up. Yeah, I absolutely no, did. didn't. I absolutely did not race? know the score. No when I idea up. what you were getting into. Yeah. No. Well, I gotta hand it to you, Oz, man. You got some pretty big cojones there riding right this little 50 cc across the United States. Dude, this thing's awesome. We took the challenge specifically to see if 50 cc could do it and not break down like these 200s were doing uh, two years ago. We're gonna put these bikes to the test. You know, it is pretty crazy. I'm gonna enjoy the first half of the first day and the last, like, you know, a couple miles coming into Portland. Everything in between, I'm sure to uh, not enjoy, but. You know, to be able to tell stories in retrospect make more than makes up for the uh, the punishment we're going to be going through. What are the chances I can get you to um, give me the breakdown of the scooter meeting at 4 o'clock? What the fuck could they possibly tell us in this meeting? Everything we need to know. <laughs> Everything you need to know not yeah, to die. You kind of need to be in the driver's meeting. Yeah. It's like a big, no, more than a phone call. Not be in the show. driver's meeting. What are you uploading? You're, 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 you're sending your vinyl graphics? My all important vinyl graphics? <laughs> really? Yeah. Just fuck this? Let's go. All right, thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, why doesn't this work? Trying to find a mount for this GPS. I, I, I think I can do without. I mean, Lawson will always be next to me, but it'd just be great to be able to have my own as a backup in case his fails. Oh my god. How did my fucking payment fail? So what does that tell me? Fucking assholes. Oh! You look a little tired. Too, right? Yeah. We've only just begun. I know. I know. See, dude? See you again. He's <laughs> Matt. Matt, I'm lost. Awesome. Next week, dude. You know, I'm guessing, you know, anywhere from 12 to 15 hours of riding per day. 
day two and day three are going to be painfully long. I'm, I'm, I'm mentally preparing for 18 hour days, both of those days. I don't know what kind of frame of mind I'm going to be in when I, if I finally get there. So we're putting the bikes to the test, but ultimately these bikes are putting us to the test as well. Everything's going great. I mean, it was kind of a bummer watching Corey flip out and then like continue to rub his bad mood in everybody's faces. But other than that, everything's great. So, let's get started with the rider meeting. Fuck, I know what we should do. I'll go with uh, Brendan. I'll leave the scooter there. They throw that fucker on, and then we just come right back. See, I'm fucking thinking. Idea man. For those of you who I haven't met before, I'm Bagel. I'm coordinating and organizing this crazy thing we call the Scooter Cannonball Run. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck yes, it's gonna work out. There's no sense in Hello, Mrs. Clark. Too late to get an annulment? <laughs> a little late. You mean you mean the part where I lied about no one getting injured? Yeah, that's a particular concern. Believe me, no one was as surprised as I was. Meanwhile, of course, I'm missing the safety meeting right now. First topic I want to discuss is safety. It is a competition, but it's not worth putting your own safety or anybody else's safety in jeopardy, OK? And it's not a race. It is Don't not a race. Don't say that to anyone. Please make the distinction that this is not a race, because it isn't. She asked me, was anyone seriously injured? I said, no. Apparently, it just turned out to be completely fabricated. There's a possibility of ice and snow, and you run the risk of hypothermia. There's a very real possibility for fatigue. Please respect speed limits. Please try not to attract attention to yourselves <laughs> while you ride. My question is, what's more important, me having my rack properly installed or sitting in the meeting when Corey can tell me what happened in the meeting? There are three control points uh, in the middle of the route each day, and you're required to take a, take a photo to give yourself a timestamp that will be used to calculate your score. If you miss a checkpoint, you will lose points for both the section before and the section after. It's looking good. Country. Look at that sexy, sexy rack. Here, go this way. If you're using GPS, make sure that you look through the route. Modern technology can do amazing things, but it can also screw up big time. It is not infallible. And these are some very small roads that we're going on. Hey, go, I, if, okay. if I don't leave, I'm not going to have a bike for the race. I got to okay. go get my bike to the shop. So. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think we're done with the rider meeting. Um, so if anybody needs to take off, do anything, please go and do so. Everyone else, please come by and pick up your stuff. GPS. I fell out of my helmet and now it won't turn on. I literally just like from here to here, just like drop now, it doesn't work. Check the battery compartment. Can you just make sure that the contacts are still? Uh, that's, okay. the only, that's the only thing I can think of. So I think I just jarred it? Yeah. You know, they're supposed to be rugged, but they're not. Oh my fucking god. Oh, beautiful. Hey, she's back together. Like new. All right, thanks, man. Yep. No I'm officially back in the race. <laughs> What are the chances I can get you to go pick up my decal? I went to go get my decal, and the directions that I got sent me to a fucking residence. <laughs> Somebody's house, and that was not correct. Dude, you rock for doing this. I, uh, I owe you a reach around or something. All right, here we go. Look at oh, that. Oh my goodness gracious. There it is. Oh, Mass hole. Look at it. That looks large. Let's that, just, let's I, just want, I just want to take a look. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's gonna look huge. I wanted the M to be as high as the V in the Vespa. Holy shit, this is huge. This is all I can do to this bike. Make it look nice. Day before the race, it's 11.30. We've got, we're gonna get about four hours of sleep. I think this is pretty uh, typical for first timers on the cannonball. I'm, I have to be the least qualified person on this race. I really have to be. Like putting Juliet Lewis, the other sister, on a fucking scooter <laughs> and, and sending her just due east and hoping, nice. oh God, I hope she makes it. Out. Hope she makes it to the prom. So now I need to make a flat map. Because if Lawson's GPS should crap out on us for some reason, then we still have directions. I think I inhaled some metal shards. We're doing the really important shit right now. Right now. Very important stuff. Ed and I, we're doing detail work. This is exactly how I felt when my son was born. And then, I believe, we'd be done. I have contributed nothing tonight. 
I can't believe we're, we're going, we're doing it. There they go, we're gonna take off across the country. Oh my God. Quick update, Lawson, with the GPS mounted to his bike, has managed to make two wrong turns in two turns. <laughs> God help us all. Oh my God. We're so screwed. I find that panic is the best preparation. Raw panic. Oh yeah, just a little open heart surgery to start off the day. New injector. Hopefully that's all it, uh, all I'm gonna need from now on. We'll see. I did almost get launched off that speed bump. Yeah, you gotta stand up a little bit. When you see bumps, stand up. I didn't see it. I was like looking down here, I'm like, oh, they're the. I saw your back end pop. What do you want from me? Just to live. I want you to live. <laughs> I want you to live. When you start, that's when your time starts. Oh, okay. So right. it's not a group start. So right. early start is to get everyone in early. You can leave right now. You could go. Actually, the other one fifty left. You gotta oh, take okay, the so picture when we're leaving. Yes. Nice sticker, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Making a shot of that. I have a feeling Corey's probably gonna do some more freaking out. You're gonna see about, I'd say, 53 more freakouts on Corey's part. This thing in the world. No, that, that bike is not fast. It's a commuter bike. Uh, I got an oil light on my bike. Are I'm gonna have to pull over me? here immediately. Uh, where it's safe. Shit. Where you wanna go? Here, you get ahead of me. You... I have to pull over? Yeah, you pull ahead. turn in uh, eight miles if you can uh, not sure what happens up there but it might open up it's gonna seize up if I don't pull over what happened I don't know the oil lights on Fuck. You think you're leaking oil or? I don't know. Corey? Hey, buddy. My oil light just came on my bike on Lockheed Corey? Highway. L O U G H. You're on. Are you on a freeway? I am on Oliver Street. I'm, I'm giving you the coordinates so you can Google Maps it or, or GPS it or whatever you need to do. I don't have a street address. I, I don't have any oil with me. The oil's in the support car. So That's right. I'm out of oil. I don't have oil, so um, I'll call you right back. Okay. He's in, you know, freak out mode right now, so. No oil pressure means blown engine. I drove the bike for a lot longer than it should have when that light comes on. I don't know how long it's been on, quite frankly. Yeah. So, 
Keep riding, we'll catch up to you. What? Yeah, you, you gotta go. I have a feeling this is going to put Corey out of the race. This is, I mean, no oil pressure is like no bike. Oh, fuck you. I'm so fucking pissed at you right now. You fucking asshole. I'm going to take pictures of all your control points. Yep. Tell you how, baby. Full throttle on the way. All right, dude. All right, man. See you in a bit. Hello. What a shit show today is so far. Corey? No, so I called Gary and uh, right away they kind of checked my handlebars and he's like, oh yeah, no, that's just a maintenance flight. Um, which on every other fucking vehicle on the planet, you can pull over and instantly you're about to seize your engine. So, while he's ahead of me, I'm going to try to catch up with him. Thank you. You know, and then the other uh, possibility was that it wasn't an oil pressure warning light at all. Excuse me, if I want to hit um, the Strait of Georgia Bridge in Harris Mills, do I keep going that, that way? I'm looking for the Strait of Georgia Bridge in Harrison Hills. That way? need a new top end because the thing weighs like 20 pounds or something so uh so i called my support guys they were about uh, 30 or 40 minutes out so i started taking it off and i realized the the error of my ways of working in a gravel parking lot because <laughs> i have to keep wiping all the grit off of everything oh, so it, it sucks great hairy donkey balls how about that <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna put this new top end on here uh and pray probably maybe 25 30 minutes oh. and then then I'll, then I'll have to drive it for about 25 or 30 minutes and then retorque the head bolts. That'll be bad. Nothing is, nothing is simple. New gloves. Hello, asshole. <laughs> well, let's get on the road, baby. Accelerate through those turns and just practice looking around the corner and pushing. And when you push, just exaggerate. Turn your head, like exaggerate where your uh, head is going. Head turn, shoulders. Head turn, head turn. Point your chest, point your chest. Remember, remember to push. Slow down a little bit, turn, push, push, exaggerate. Don't hand fist, relax. Accelerate, accelerate. There you go, push. Go another four hours. Right. Oh, what, no, what, no, actually, what, that what, is, what, that what is I'm it. No, 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 start. Look. That is it right here. Okay, you can on yeah. your side? Yeah. Okay. I had to get on his case once because he ditched me on a three-lane uh, freeway going uphill. We had not ridden up a hill like that before together. It was a safety issue. And the reason we're doing this as teammates is for size. You know, we don't have a big bulky bike that's highly visible or can evade traffic quickly. So, you know, we're, we're basically a unit. Pass through stop signs together, hold a line together, go up hills together. Next time, warn me that your shit's that slow. Oh, we blew out a bearing back here, so. We were fortunate enough to find some new parts and, but well, we don't have a bearing driver, so. Did they post the scores? Yeah. 
Oh, how do I do? Number two, baby. I am. Yeah. Oh, God, I didn't know that. I'll tell you one thing, we beat the estimate by 15 minutes. I, I guess 12 hours, it was 11.45 elapsed time. A day that doesn't involve as many hills would actually just be fine. Like, I think 350 mile day, I think we could probably clear it in 10 hours. I'm more encouraged now than I was when I first got this stupid idea together. You've heard of the jinx, right? Because <laughs> you, know, you know what's going to happen, right? Something's going to, like, explode off. This will shit itself. That's just because yours looked like a bomb. <laughs> Fair enough. There's no reason why he should be doing this. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Should I thought I literally, really. if I had known your riding level prior to this, yeah, it was 320 miles of uh, riding lessons basically today. How fast were you going coming up that hill? Um, that's so. Is there a so, number so associated the, with that hemming and high? Yes, there is. Is it a single digit? No. <laughs> oh. As your yes. wife did say. To yes. me. She did. She did say, uh, "I'm so glad you're doing this with Lawson. Like, I, if 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 you weren't doing this, I wouldn't let him do it. But you're there. Well, here's and, the guy. And I, so I I can't leave you. She'll hate me. And you know I can't have her hate me. No. She's because if something should happen to you, I will regret it for the rest of my life. But your writing skill needs to come up in the next like 24 hours. Yes. So how come you haven't told me how fast you were going going up the okay, hill? Okay, so up the hill we we got as low as fourteen. Um yeah, could have been. How do you do about traffic? Oh, like you guys just get out of the way? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, actually that is right on the way. It's pretty simple. We're like, yeah, we're in the way. Up here. I think I, I just feel like no, I'm a drag he's stressing me out. You're a drag in the sense that I fear that you might die. I have that same fear. <laughs> I know. It's not that. Uh, I must say, in the last three hours, massive difference. Okay, see? Now that's what I need to hear. So yeah. I need to hear. No, you're getting better. Doing the curves and so forth wasn't too bad as long as you could see far enough ahead. But uh, once the sun went down, it was sort of spooky. The last support truck just showed up. Oh, oh with the Zuma. Oh, but the oh, girls are, are not with them. They're behind the support truck. Oh, that's interesting. That's the suck. That's the suck part. Because if it breaks again and seizes again, she's going to be. Did it seize? Yeah. It seized, seized. on the bridge, yeah. And on the bridge. What did she do? Did she change the top end? Yeah. yeah. This is a large endeavor. This is a large endeavor, and there's really nothing funny about this anymore. I thought it was going to be funny. I thought I'd be like, ah, crazy on a scooter. No, no, this is like crazy on a scooter. something to be smug about. <laughs> We're not the last ones. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Did, I don't like shot in Florida. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm very happy to be here. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Come you. <laughs> uh, come on, baby. Somebody stole the support truck. That's crazy. It's a white four-door, you know, absolutely cowboy Cadillac. You know, it's an eight-foot bed, four doors, king cab, and so forth. Gone. <laughs> the, the police are supposed to be here shortly. Guys, support truck? One whole truck. Gone. I drove from southeast Tennessee 2,900 miles to get to Vancouver. Bill flew from uh, Norfolk, Virginia. We met, met up in Seattle. But God, I haven't any idea what the hell we're going to do out here in the middle of nowhere. You know, Grand Forks, British Columbia. Although I'll be honest with you, a little pang of end, like jealousy. If I came out, my fucking scooter was gone, and I had to go home. God, lucky son of a bitch. 
Well, I guess we're going to have to depend on some other people to come pick my ass up off the side of the road. <laughs> well, at least we do have other trucks, but all your gear. What I had was a toolbox in there yeah. that had, you know, basically the whole internals of another engine. Yeah. I've already used the biggest and heaviest and yeah. most expensive part. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of sucks. It's right behind uh, your truck. You know, your trucks are parked uh, parallel with the road. Yeah. We were parked diagonally at the, the very first spot underneath the sign. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that sucks great hairy donkey balls for them. And me, too, I guess. Yeah. So. Anything we can do. I appreciate that. That's kind of fucking crazy, isn't it? Boston wasn't uh, feeling too great last night. And in my defense, neither was I. I woke up last in the middle of the night last night to hear Corey whimpering in his sleep. I literally, in the middle of the night, I heard this. Oh. Maybe I need some talk therapy after this. <laughs> I had quite a few mechanical problems last night, and uh, I'm trying to order parts before we get to West Glacier where we don't have internet tonight. Hopefully I can get them and continue on. We just take a picture when we go, right? I gotta get moving, I'm starting to burn up. Got like double layers on today, and I don't think it's gonna be enough. These gloves are horrible. Oh, fuck. That's what I was gonna duct tape these fingers up. Check this out. Top speed yesterday was 92. Downhill. I don't think that'll happen today. <laughs> I was able to break away from my fears because of that wreck I had in 2008. Jim went down on a, just an open stretch of road and I laid under his bike for a half hour and some tourists came by and picked him up. And uh, he broke his shoulder, seven broken ribs, a punctured lung, and he drove 100 miles out of the desert on his bike after refusing medical care at the, uh, at the hospital, at the lake there. Uh, a tough old bastard. I was able to let it go and really push the scooter through some sections. Now I can calm down and keep my promise to my wife and not, not race. But I will pick a fight. I don't know what happened to uh, Gloss. I made a promise to your wife to, uh, to keep you safe out there. I'm not, I'm not leaving you. I'll be honest with you, I feel fucking relieved. I don't have him up my fucking ass. Like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm like, dude, I am going as fast as I can. As I fell asleep, he did whisper to me. He just goes, uh, Lawson? I'm like, yeah. He just goes, I'm really glad you're here. And then I was like, I'm not. <laughs> I got more balls than I ever would have. I couldn't imagine going from here to there on that little thing there. Unreal. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was fun. Let's just assess what happened here. Here's the turn that got me. I was coming down this turn, I guess I'll probably a little fast, and made a big mistake, put on the brakes, hit that patch of dirt, and down we went. Let's just assess some of the damage here. Let's see the back of the helmet. Smacked it pretty bad. Yep. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can't keep that mass hole down. All right. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to make it like this. But I guess that's what the cannonball is all about. Hi, 
bag. Yep. It says bear right. That's not it? I guess not. Let's fix this fucker. It's not pretty. But it's gonna have to do. I don't know where we're at. I say uh, we just keep heading up and see if we find somebody. I'll let you leave for a while. All right. Is there any way to put in your GPS this uh, Orthrop Lake Road? No. Are we lost? I don't think so. Okay. You still on track? Yeah. All right. <laughs> between 15 and 20 at, at most. So, wow. Uh, I know, it was just like, it was mind numbing. It was just a phenomenal day. Everything just clicked, clicked. Just phenomenal. He's telling his wife that he, he cried. Hello, Mrs. Clark. Uh, it was a good day overall. Uh, I'm, I, I may have wiped out the bike. I'm fine. It was uh, as wipeouts go. It was the most luxurious, pillowy, fluffy wipeout of all time. I'm glad it's okay. It sounded like a pretty soft crash. My shoulder's a little sore, uh, and I hit my head. But I had the helmet on. And I didn't even it's a, it didn't even feel a thing. It was it was just like a little like I could hear, but I didn't feel anything. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to call and let you know. All right, buddy. I love you. Bye. So that went well. You can see Lawson crashed today and busted off his side mirror. I fucked up today. Oh, boy. In a nutshell, that's what happened. I have a feeling it just snaps together, but I want to make sure. This is the first time I've actually done this. And the first time I've ever worked on a Vespa. I just have to make a GPS mount. I got lost today twice here, and I had asked directions, which, oh. By the way, to answer your question, uh, how late is this night going to be? Uh, as soon as that muscle relaxing, muscle relaxing kicks in, <laughs> the what? muscle yeah, so mind, okay. mind is kicking in. I didn't feel tired at all. Easy day, really. It was all adrenaline and fun. And I mean, he went down. I, I can't describe it. I don't know what it is about the near-death experience, but... Oh, it scared the living shit out of me, dude. It scared the living shit out of me. I was like, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> but yeah, after it was over with, I kind of got up. I was like, all right, I'm not fucked up. The bike's a little fucked up, but not that bad. And I don't know, I just, after that I was just like, I'm back, baby. I don't know, is that fucked up? That's fucked up. Well, that's great. I was like, that I'm now all in. Now I'm like, fuck you, you're not getting me out of this race. Ain't nobody gonna break my stride. Ain't nobody gonna hold me down. Oh, oh no, oh, I've got <laughs> to keep on riding. <laughs> yeah. I've never used it on metal. Corey says it works. Yes, it is a Leatherman. I'm wrenching. You know, this Leatherman is just so handy. I'd like to thank the Leatherman Corporation of the Shogi or wherever the hell they are. One guy with no shoes and hopped up full of goofballs. Right. I'm telling you. Honestly. Honestly, yeah. there is no reason why he should be on this thing. No re I mean, why do we trust him? I got a riding experience. He got you into this. Riding experience. Here's protector. Not anymore. Put that one on the bar. You tell people as we go along, you know, people, what the hell are you guys doing? I've seen a lot of scooters come through here, and you tell them, and they just go, God, this sounds horrible. Why would you do that? Fuck you. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling no pain right now. Man, oh, that's a bear. Bear could catch them at that speed. I'd eat them right up. No, oh, I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. My eyelids are so relaxed. You look good. You look good. Look fresh. Oh, your eyes. Are they all red? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Eight Jesus. more days. Eight more days of this shit. I'm already over you guys. <laughs> I've already moved on. I have so Up much. Up here, I'm already gone. I respect you guys all so much more, and I'm really glad that we're all friends. We're getting to know. I, I stopped listening. <laughs> Can you make sure this is set up so I don't go? 
ballistic ferries. You don't want those. You'll go highways in traffic and on paved roads. The only thing you will not go is ferries. So that's you're all set here. I think it's a tough route. The next couple of days, we're not near we're not near anything, and then things start breaking down. Like last night in in Grand Forks, you know, I had to find some guy out of his house to do some welding on the bike to to fix the the bearing that had seized. So I'm just happy to be moving. That's part of the adventure, you know. More so than the actual race for first, second, or third. Long days, early mornings, late nights. Doing all right. I helped Jim. We were riding together through the forest road, and and I came over that hill. He got it. He went ahead of me and came over the hill. And all I see is his his ruckus is just laying off the side, just over in the ditch. I'm like, oh God, he's 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 dead or he's broken up again. And uh, we got it out and uh, picked up the pieces of the windscreen and everything and got them back on the road. This ain't like I didn't do it already once in 2008. Same side of the scooter. I'm hopefully I'm supposed to be taking it easy as I promised and it doesn't yeah. seem like I'm taking it very easy. That was sure a pretty stretch, so that's what the cannonball was about. Just all these sweeping stuff, they're nice. But that switchback stuff, no rules, no lines, and animals. We have a new addition to Corey's nighttime theater. Conversations in his sleep. Today, I'm having to switch over to dinosaur oil because all my oil got stolen, uh, along with all my tools and spares and all that good stuff. So let's see, I've got 0.8 gallons, so that's almost a gallon. And I have to mix it 3%. This is a 2% cup, so I have to do lots of math in my head. Thank you so much for leaving early. Ooh, howdy. I was thinking this morning, getting up out of bed, going, man, I hurt. You know, it just doesn't get any better than this. That's what I keep saying. How long have you been riding? Came down off of big bikes. I've had big bikes since. Oh, since 1950, well, 1950. Oh, good. I've been riding for a couple of years, you know. <laughs> How's your other friend doing that riding? Corey's off, like, hauling ass right now. I didn't want to be held up. I don't, does he understand that it's, it it's, doesn't it's, matter it's, when it's you really, leave, it's, it's just more, timing? More, more potential for ice. Really. I'd like to see Corey win, but I also think that Corey not, like, working his ass up and not winning is also kind of funny. He might, he might just completely blow a gasket. Not the fucking front now. So how do you feel today? Sore, sore, sore. Oh, uh, I heard you went down. You had you had to have gone down way worse than I did. Well, I went in a ditch, a stone ditch. Yep, that that's a yes.
Glacial National Park, the winds were so bad, it knocked someone's scooter right over. I had my first road kill, run over a snake. So we got another 161 miles to go. Every corner you turn around, spectacular waterfall, beautiful lake, gorgeous vistas, it was nice. Dirt and muddy roads, yet it kind of was bad. And it was like right at the top for about, I don't know, maybe like a mile and a half uh, before you got to the bottom. Still pretty unpleasant, regardless. All right. See you later. How long did you guys get anything? Uh, probably four or five hours, hopefully. scooter has no business being on a fucking mountain. I think I completely fucked up. I think I missed a checkpoint, which case, points-wise, I am so fucking screwed. I just probably, I probably blew, either blew through it or just totally missed it. Totally missed it. Fuck. All right, fuck that one up. Nope. Well, I just, I'm missing out on some big points there. Yeah, at this point, I just want to finish today. How far are we now? We're like another two hours or something? Stop it. Four hours from here? Yeah, it's like four and a half to five hours, actually. No joke. Stop this. Okay, look. You fucking Listen, kidding me? Five hours and 23 minutes. Are you fucking kidding me? This thing hits, says like, oh, you're going to be there in like two hours. That's what this says, look. Did you punch that in? Whoever made this... <laughs> So I'm so disappointed. And the, the hard part hasn't happened yet. There's what all those twisties. The what? Evans, Rickville Road, and Lick Creek, and Logging Creek. Those are the gnarly roads. What the fuck? I know, it's crazy. When you're exhausted, you get the dirt roads. Logging Creek Road for 11 miles. The fuck is this? I'm thinking like, oh, two hours is easy. This fucking sucks. I know. Motherfucker. I know, it's horrible. I don't know why I keep laughing, why that makes me so happy. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Just the look. Yeah, it sucks, honey. I should not Fuck! Fuck, fuck, this is really bumming me out. Man, did I screw up. I can't find any of the other waypoints that we're supposed to hit. I can't, I can't find control point three to save my life. They go on. Wanna light these directions on fire? Alright. Holy fucking shit. I'm gonna sell it with this. You um, should. It's racing tape. This is all history. What a nightmare. Fuck me. I'm so tired. Yeah, it was beautiful. Today was my favorite so oh, far. Oh, it was amazing. Gorgeous, on top of the world. Yeah. 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 I gotta look at a map tonight. I can't do this again. I mean, like, I don't know how I went from total wreck on day one, feeling fantastic on day two, day three just super wrecked. So maybe tomorrow I'll feel great. Did I still have blood on my face? You did have a little bit. Did you fall on your nose? I fell and I had was pinned and... Wow. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. ugly. Twice. Twice. Well, it was a good thing you had help then. Yeah, it was. Why wouldn't it have done that? No. Holy crap. 
Yeah, the alternate route was the way to go. Yeah, huh? No way, man. <laughs> yeah! You did the dirt? Are you? She did the dirt. She yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. That was awful. <laughs> I was scared to death. <laughs> that was so fun. Coming out of Glacier Park going, I hope in four days somebody reminds me that this was a good idea. And then about an hour outside of town, I'm like, this was a horrible idea. It's a horrible, horrible, hateful, horrible idea that we're doing this. Ugh. Seven more days to go. It's pretty awesome. It's going to be great. Today was the, was, they said today was going to be a hard day, right? Uh, and they weren't they're kidding. all hard days. Well, you should see Lawson, man. Oh, I'm sure he's a mess. Holy fucking shit did that suck. Oh, my God. You're here. Little mass hole got me here. It was horrible. It was like a fucking... It was like a house of horrors out there. Deer jumping out, then I'm going through this thing, and like landmines, there are roadkill out there the size of the scooter tires. Like big, wet mounds. I'm like, whoa! I'm like, if I hit one of those, I'm going down. Yeah. So three roadkill, two huge deer, a fucking cow walks it like a, like, are there no fences in this, in this state? Jesus Christ! Holy fucking shit, that was a, a shit show. Yeah. But I'm alive, damn it! Yeah. Up, nice. So there's two ways to look at Cannonball, right? One is, how do I get from point A to point B as fast as I possibly can? Another way, which is the way that I like to think about it, is when the hell else are you ever going to do this in your entire life? I want to take the dirt road. It's like, it's like a kid at Disneyland who doesn't know what ride he's going to get on. <laughs> And then he wants off as soon as he gets on it. What? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. You were the one who was going like, and I oh, how many more miles do we have of this? And I quote, yes, I'm an asshole. <laughs> we uh, had uh, a crazy adventure today. Busted my uh, coolant tank. It was a billy goat trail. It wasn't a dirt road. It was, it was a dirt road. And then it became rock, you know, rock. Boulders, rock. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a Honda ATV commercial. I'm going with it's worth it. Now I think Aaron wants to punch me in the face for suggesting that we go on that. The most brutal day I think of my life. It really was. Fifteen and a half hours travel time today. Did I did I say this was stupid? <laughs> no, this was this was pretty stupid. You know I think the worst of this trip is behind us. You know terrain wise. Okay. What did we t say about the jinx? <laughs> like, they didn't... <laughs> we had this conversation last night. Like, oh, we're all done with all the mountains. Little did I know that we had the biggest mountain. That was when you hit your rock bottom, I think, at, like, going uphill at, like, 12 miles per hour. The Billy Goat Trail, some of those... I was under 10, and I was like, if it gets... If there's any more grade, if, there's, if it increases grade any more, I'm going to have to stand beside the bike and kind of gun it up the hill and walk next to it. A couple of times today, I turned around to get stuff because I thought it would be a nice picture. Yeah. You know, because obviously I'm not racing anyone. <laughs> ha ha, I've already won the cannonball. Thank you very much. I'm putting on my uh, rear tire. It's a 145 7012 car tire, sometimes referred to as going to the dark side. Feeling better this morning than yesterday morning. As far as I've heard, they still have no word on Bill's truck. His last blog update, they were still in Grand Forks. And... I actually went down yesterday. Elbow took the brunt. I was only going like maybe 12 miles an hour. Um, scratched up the side of the scooter, opened up a gap in the front. It's just cosmetic. I just want to make sure all the waypoints are on this. I got screwed. Oh, this is going to be so nasty. Microwavable egg sandwich. Run. I gotta get some points. Got some Excedrin for breakfast. <laughs> My elbow's giving me, giving me pain. Congratulations, you're officially beating somebody right now. Really? <laughs> I'm in dead last. You're, you're How dead. are we beating you? What happens when you miss every waypoint after first one? <laughs> I, the only, thing, the only two, I got two things right yesterday. One was the first waypoint. Two was showing up here. <laughs> that's, right, that, that's not good. Dude. That's just mental errors. I didn't even open the uh, the paper directions. I didn't even open them yesterday. So that's what the problem is. So I'm like, I get to wherever the uh, wait where the uh, GPS would get me. Like, all right, somewhere around here. Click, 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 and then just go. 
We're off for day four. If you had to walk it, and you had to get up and walk it, we might as well have on yeah. the dirt. We bottomed out at 12 at this point. Oof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bottomed up pretty bad. I, I was like 30, like a, like a solid 30, but 12, that really sucks. You every checkpoint we have to be able to go 30. <laughs> Consistently. The, chicken strip. the distance between where your tire hits the road and the edge <laughs> is the chicken strip. So you you get a little, uh, I'm carving. Yeah, carving, great. Carving pretty hard. Yeah. If I were actually in this thing to win it, I'd lose. I'd be the last person. I'm glad I got this thing. It gives me an excuse. It gives me a reason to not race. I gotta fucking get some points on the board. That's what my plan is. Is that a point up? Can't get beat by 50 cc guys. I can fuck with it all day long and it still won't be right. There's a quick ball over here. Got my map. I got a flat map today. I forgot to charge my GPS, so that's awesome. We're learning a lot on this first journey. By day 10, we'll really have it down. This is getting better and better. This is like, I can't fucking beat these guys. That's what I'm hearing. I outmatched their bikes by three fucking times, know, and they're amazing. beating me. I know, and they're so cheery about it, too, and they're honking and waving. Well, of course they would be, because they're I like pumped. That. They're beating a 150 right now. I know, but it's not out of yet. OK. If along the route you see a drugstore, I'm serious when I tell you this. Pick up a, a thing of Depends, would you? <laughs> like, I got to fucking, tomorrow, I need to, like, lay it down. <laughs> I am not pants. stopping. I am not stopping for anything. Because I, I can't tell you how many times I'm driving. I'm like, I got to fucking piss now. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to piss my pants. <laughs> no. Ooh, Ramones. The Ramones on right now. Things are starting to come up lossing. SUV man, got everything I need in here. It's now 717, so it hasn't yet been 12 hours. Uh, it all, day one, it turns out, is gonna be shorter, but this hurt less. It's beautiful, it's like so amazing. Of course, there are uh, shotgun holes in the sign. It's been a beautiful state to, uh, to drive through, ride through, slowly meander through. Oscar and I had a lover's spat today. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It was a release. Then we had makeup riding. <laughs> Only seized once. Lost a headlamp. It was great. 
I have about one more day's ride in me before I have to change my rear tire. Yeah, it's dying. And that tire only has 1,800 miles on it. All the scooter shops will tell you, all the mechanics will tell you, yeah. and the tire companies, your first tire, oh, it'll last 6,000 miles. All oh, those will go yeah. 8,000 miles. And then what happens on Cannonball? Somewhere in the last 140 miles, three times, all of a sudden, the thing just, like, dropped power. I think I beat Corey today on at least one leg. We saw him and Corey riding together for, for a period of time, but it was like, you guys, you gotta fucking get on the ball here. We're gunning for you, and we're doing it very slowly, and we're still... <laughs> it's, it's the tortoise in the hair. I'd like to credit my my blinding speed and uh, excellent riding abilities, but I think in the end, Corey just got lost. <laughs> But I got some points on the board, so I think that will get me just just behind the 50cc guys now. You have no idea how much I want it now. I think it's no hard feelings if he does manage to beat us, but we are and if we does, have a significant lead. I lived in North Dakota for eight years, and I, I don't remember it to be this pretty. We're just gonna blast through this state, though, Minnesota by by sundown. Oz and Aaron are ahead of Lawson right now. Oz and Aaron are very determined. They did, uh, I think, 13 hours in the saddle yesterday. I think they've got a good shot. Although he posted something about monkeying with his bike and now it being like more likely to break than ever or something. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we'll see. Hopefully he won't be like stuck by the side of the road. I'm sitting first, theoretically. I'm the of the moment. I am currently in last place. Still. By the way, your bike is wearing out so fast. His tie's rear tire needs changing tonight. Now, this is not a race, but we always say, if you're going to play race driver, then you better play pit crew, too. Cannonball! 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 <laughs> Every time I get on the road, that's that. Cannonball! 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 And then I fall asleep almost within 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a particular type of person that has the fortitude to do this day in and day out for 10 days. And I don't know if I'm that person. Morning, Star. How you doing? I'm all right. How's it going? I'm awake. That's good. <laughs> Everyone's all excited right now about the fact that it's a nice, easy, simple, flat day. But in that, I see just nothing but peril. I just see, for no reason at all, like my belt exploding or my tire going now and, and me just sailing through the air and ending up in a ditch. Cannonball, cannonball, cannonball! Hey, do you hear this? Am I the one that... It's like a little bit of a knocking or something, like something's rattling. Well, that's one rule, you gotta listen to your scooter. They gonna listen to it? So it sounds like it's probably rollers. Yeah. Not, not, not too many. Yeah, the rollers may be getting a little worn, um, and and they're flap, you know, flopping around in there a little bit. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I would think, you know, that it should be able to last the whole thing. All right. Rollers. I don't know what those are. I just got a text from uh, Pistol Pete saying that uh, I'm broken down at the starting point. Uh, I need to be picked up, please. What's going on? What happened? There's something going on electrical. There's something electri electrical, and I'm thinking that that road that we took, Evansville's Riceville Road, rattled the shit out of this bike. So if you guys can ship me back to the finish, and I can tear it apart and do it there, I'd be so grateful. Sure, no problem. <laughs> My drive belt just exploded in this thing. All right, Brendan. The mass hole is down. Repeat, the mass hole is down. My two biggest fears on this thing were one, falling off the scooter, and two, breaking down in the middle of nowhere. 
I guess we could just <laughs> scratch those two off the list. All over, it's like all down the highway down there. It's fabric sticking out of the engine block. Only after 2,000 miles. I thought it was gonna get swapped out today. At the end. Oh, I'm just hoping Brendan, uh, our mechanic, can put a new one in on the side of the road. I've got an exhaust leak, if you can hear that. But that's not nearly as bad as your situation. It sucks to be me. Oh, Good you luck, fucking sir. bastards. You're continuing to build on your lead. Yeah, well, you know what? Our <laughs> oh, shit's... That's right. That's right. Let's go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to hang out? You just want to chat for a little bit? Or... I really don't want to put it on the trailer. I want to be able to say that I rode this thing. If it is rideable. Like, back. I think trailering would be a pussy move. And for no reason at all, the um, Garmin just won't power up anymore, even though it's hardwired into the thing. Gosh, I'm hungry. Here they are. Okay, well, you're screwed. Let's go home. No. No, it's, it shouldn't be that bad. So you snapped a belt? 2,000 miles, it just it totally blew out of that thing. You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? Yep, where do you want to put it? Guess who's drinking for free tonight? So go ahead and throw me Phillips right now. Beautiful. There you go. I like the way you think. Nice. Just jamming. I'm going to need the special tool for this. Interesting, you got the brown guy working and all the white guys. <laughs> Bingo. Okay, all now right. it's a matter of buttoning it up. Jesus, Pete, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I mean, it actually sounds like the engine is knocking. That's been around for all day today, at least. It's still idling, and it's been idling badly lately, remember? That knock, unfortunately, doesn't sound good, and I think you're going to be a big, fat DNF, dude. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I'll run it until it seizes, which might be soon. Who knows? I hope that this is just some organic noise that the engine is making during its life cycle and that uh, it's not the precursor to a fatal breakdown. Really I'd be really concerned place. because I'll have to use these. You know, we got the we got his GPS, so he's been the uh, he's been the navigator here. This has already seemed like an eternity so far, so if I'm doing this solo, I'm not looking forward to the rest of it. All right, let's try it. Pete, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Get ready for that blowjob. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about you the whole way in. That's right. Nice having friends, isn't it? It's nice to help you. I mean, it went really quickly. I didn't think it was gonna go that quickly, but Pete has got tons of experience. It's all about working as a team when it comes to the cannibal. I mean, right. many a times you'll have see somebody stranded on the road. You pull over, you help them. Had it been me, a guy who's never actually worked on one of those drive belt systems, there's just no way it would have happened as fast as, as with Pete. And when we get back, we still have to change the tire. I want to take apart that transmission again. The belt? I think so. I am going to review the paper, the paper directions. There's a like a pulling feeling. Like it's almost like I'm hitting the rev limiter, but I know I'm not. Yeah, um, those old rollers. Yeah. Put those in. Yeah, I'm just gonna put everything back in the way the way it was. You know, I'm I'm not so much concerned with the time of getting in if this is fixed. If this is fixed and this is what it was, I'll be stoked. I'll, you know, I wouldn't care if we get in at one. I mean, my worst fear is having to do the rest of this trip. <laughs> How many miles is that? We still got a good 1,500 miles. If I had a GPS, I could do a you know a lot faster than I could do it with the paper. Fuck. I'm gonna try running it with the case open and see if we can see if anything's making particular noise. No, I do hear it. Actually, no, I don't. I don't hear it. Yeah, it's gone. It's it's this very. 
Put in the old variator, dude. Yeah, dude, that, that knocking noise, totally gone. You know, I kind of was wanting to go on a stock bike myself, and Oscar wanted to kind of hop his up a little bit. Well, this is just a OEM part. Clearly, he's having a power delivery issue related to aftermarket soup-up sorts of parts. So I'll leave it at that. I'm not going to rub it in. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell which where where the failure was. You know, it really is like impossible. Right to tell. here, look, see the rubbing, sand it away somehow. It's not supposed to wear on anything. No, and that could be part of the problem. I mean, it looks like it's rubbing a little bit. It looks like the ramps have taken some damage. This isn't supposed to hit anything. Booyah! Uh, Okay. I can't. All right. Here's a moment of truth, kids. Noise free. Ah, uh, success. All right. The glory. Awesome. All right. Stop it. With the wind and the little hills and his and his uh, power issues, we couldn't. I mean, Max was like 34 on the straights. You know, get down to 20 miles an hour sometimes. Been <laughs> rough going. Yeah, get out of here. We'll see you there. One way or another, I guess we'll see you guys there. Cannibal, cannibal, cannibal! Yeah, you got it down. Welcome back, brother. <laughs> that was fucking horrible. <laughs> Trip low. That was probably one of the worst things I've ever had to do in my life. My GPS totally shit the bed. It's like dead. I can't even get it to turn on. I'll just check my iPhone. It had a full bars, but it, for the life of me, it would not tell me where I was. In the pitch black, trying to wave somebody down. They like this guy pulls over. It was this twelve? The guy goes, no. <laughs> Cops got me for speeding. I had like a full blown adult panic attack. I am so lost right now. I am freaking out. They were like, okay, man, okay. So they let me go, and then I was just back on, and then waves of bugs. Yeah. Oh, that was fucking horrible. Where can I set this on fire? <laughs> oh, that's right. He's he's going to help us change the tire. Dude, are you serious? Yeah. I'm just gotta let your exhaust cool for a few minutes. It's lucky I was about to go to bed. <laughs> hey, did I beat the? Uh, yeah. the yep. No, are you kidding? They're not here. I was, I was, that was a, no. that was a One joke. I thought broke. <sighs> well, I might be out. The bike would kick over fine. It would idle fine. You'd give it revs, and it'd just start dying. We figured that we just weren't going to be able to troubleshoot any further. So I got on the truck. You know, all the simple things have been fixed. The spark, the, the plug's been swapped out. The car's been cleaned. Air filter's clean. Fuel filter. So I'm hoping that this hasn't taken me out. I'm hoping. But I just I just have no clue at this point. As I was driving, and I was yeah. literally thinking, like, I'm going to go with you tomorrow. You want to go with me tomorrow? I'm leaving at 6 o'clock. 6 a.m.? Yeah. Good morning. Not scooter time, real time. 6 o'clock. you make it? Matt, what do you usually do for the morning for breakfast? I eat a granola bar. Yeah. And I down it with water and I take two Advil. And that's, that fucking gets me by. That gets you Though by. what's so funny today is I had an emergency pit stop. I had to pull over and take a crap in someone's field. <laughs> I'm going with this guy tomorrow. Four. Part of what has made this so challenging, I think, for us has been just that the days are ridiculous. Passed out on the truck on the way in. Apparently I needed sleep at some point in time. It touched the void. I did not like what I felt. <laughs> what am I hitting here? It was here, cold, case, case. lonely, fr and frightening. Out. He finally posted the points online. So at the end of day four, you're up by 14 points. You're probably up more after today, because today you should have killed me every leg of the way. I don't know. Because you have a yeah. higher top speed. Yes, GP. This is why you'll end up beating me, by the way. Despite my power advantage. Absolutely not. It's gonna be incredible. I will, I will make you earn it. <laughs> I'll be the first to shower you in that. champagne. I will make you earn it. All set? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I took a bike that was ridiculous and, you know, wasn't the kind of thing that you would think would be able to make it. And I built it up to something that I thought could make it. 
and it already hasn't, you know? I mean, it made it almost halfway, but still. You sounded defeated, though. It is really, like, I mean, if I can't solve this, then I'm out. And I'm staring that in the face right now, and it's like I spent the last, what, like, 16 months you know, preparing for that, you know, it's not like I had this thing lying around. If but anybody can get through this, you can. I don't know. But I can't stare at this thing anymore. Yeah, you make yourself crazy. Uh, we're well past that. <laughs> I feel like the special ed kid that got forced, at the, whose parents are like, no, my son is just as smart as everybody else, and they put him in the class, and it's so obvious that he... Doesn't belong in the class. That's exactly how I feel right now. You're doing great. I don't think so. I really, I really don't think so. You've, you've, you've overcome great adversity, Lawson. You've fallen off a bike. You've broken a belt. <laughs> I've occasionally said this was stupid. This wasn't a stupid idea. This was just a bad idea. There's a difference. We knew, we knew what we were getting into. So. <laughs> conferred with knowledgeable parties. They think that it is still a field delivery problem. What did you do? What did you accomplish today? We didn't get in until like 11.30 and then it was us really? diagnosing. Yeah. How took you guys so long? Oh, suck. Yeah, so I mean, this this evening has been stupid. I think you've had it worse. <laughs> and then Jerry. You wanted to leave at eight? Yeah, it's already like two. Yeah. I can try to get as much of my crap wrapped up as I can before then. And if it feels good, we can try to ride. And if not, I'll see if I can't find a Honda dealership on the way and see what we can figure out. Do, what it, do whatever you need to do. Yeah, want to ride, get up early. I can't help your ranch, dude. Uh, I'm not asking you to, don't worry. Just, I am just telling you, I don't want you to completely assume that I'm not doing this at all. You're still diagnosing, you know? You still don't even know what the issue is. Yeah, no, it's not good. It's definitely not good. In the meantime, my fucking bike is kicking ass. <laughs> kicking ass, man. Holly, I hauled more ass on that bike today than I did ever. It was great. Been waiting four days to ride like that. Finally got my chance. Okay. Didn't it look like this when I went to bed? I think I fell asleep about 12.45. The alarm went off at five. So, I'm too tired to do, man. God damn it. Is this officially scooter time?
has no power under load. Hmm. It like wants to die. It's like blah, 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 blah. Okay. if it was the valve, you should be hearing that clatter, clatter, clatter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll look up the uh, see what what Honda dealers there are in Brainerd and Duluth. Cool. All right. I really appreciate it. Dude. Sure. Fucking load shit up and go. Now, are you gonna try to limp along for a little bit and see how it goes? Oh, yeah. I okay. just, I mean, I just saw it. It, it didn't even. Oh. It didn't okay. want to do anything. This sounds stupid, but you know, maybe we fucked up when we cleaned the car. Hi, buddy. Uh, I'm in Minnesota. No, I know you. you you don't understand, it's so fucking nuts out here. It's fucking, this is the hardest, one of the hardest things I've ever done. It's really, really, really stressful. I'm worried about me too. You understand, this is my second one of these trips where I got hurt. Almost the same day. I think it's my wife that does it. She puts the voodoo on me. Don't blame her, she's not steering. Are you wide open? Yeah. Really? Alright, I'll slow down a bit for you. By the way, how horrible was that experience? Did you go in the house? No. Oh, I thought, I thought you actually went the, in the... the trailer thing. I thought you went actually in the abandoned house. Fuck no. I was like, that's scary, hardcore. Dude. I don't know, for whatever reason, the idea of doing it in an actual house. Hopefully that's the only time I have to pull over for that. I got like maybe two hours of sleep because the whole time I was just fuming over this. Would have been a contender. <laughs> Would have been Lawson. Aaron still has a chance. So I thought the first day, 11 hours and 45 minutes, was tough. And I was like, man, it's a tough old day. That was that was by 45 span of 45 minutes the shortest day of the trip, and the longest day was yesterday, 18 hours. Well, I'm okay with putting it on a truck. Okay. For but I. I don't want to miss any more than today. You know, I've been around engines long enough to know that once you start throwing some stuff on there and changing the, the you know, the factory stuff, this shit's just not going to last as long. I'm kind of pissed off at him right now. I don't know if you caught that little dig in there where he's all like, meanwhile, my bike's working great! And it's like, fuck you, asshole. Like, if your bike was shitting itself or broken on the side of the road, I would be doing whatever I could fucking do in order to help you. Meanwhile, you're making snide comments. He knew what this trip would hold. You know, he's been on this thing once before in 08. Yes, sir. You good? Where'd you go? I forgot to take a picture. Fair enough. All right. See you later. Ain't nobody, not even that Lambretta, can even touch what I'm going through. And it's like, you fucking asshole. I was right there with you up until the last 200 miles. I got just as little sleep as you did, in fact, less, and got up and started wrenching on my bike even more. And now I'm about to go and dick around with shit that much more. I know it's not this exactly the same, but fuck you. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking tear his valve stem off. I think he likes the upward. <laughs> Map situation is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to figure this out here. I wish I could somehow have it in front of me, but I, I'm really loving this trip, though. I've never slept better in my life. I'm sleeping so soundly and just so deeply. Only getting five hours per night doing it, but I, I'm loving it. Uh, yeah, I'll take the camera. I had an 18 hour day yesterday video diary and we're heading to uh, Michigan by way of Duluth. I'm praying for 13 hours today. I'll have more for you later. What happened?
Open to your top end speed. This fucking bike sucks. Don't kiss the bike. <laughs> I'm on pace for a 10 hour day. I don't think that uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Obviously I gotta take pictures and check maps and stuff, but it might make a 12 hour day. Getting some quick service done. I'm doing an oil change, checking the belt, maybe replacing the belt. I think replacing the belt. Um, and something else. Lawson's starting to lose a little bit. He's I think the stress is getting to him. God damn it! I'm fucking tired. We're going down such obscure roads. Even the locals don't know what they are. That's when you feel really helpless. But, you know, cannibal. Yeah, I'm better. I got some, well, I got five hours of sleep last night, which is better than three or four. Still need to get like a good six, seven hour day. I'd kill for six hours. It's just one of those things where if you actually want to win, you can't make mistakes, and so any mistake you do make, it just starts to unravel your brain. You figure you're gonna do this for 10 days, you should at least win. I couldn't even tell you what day it is right now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <clears throat> this morning was tough, man. I fell asleep again. I've been getting early starts the last couple days, because I knew I had some wrenching to do, but hopefully I'm, tomorrow I'm planning to take a late start, <laughs> get some sleep. Been getting five, four hours, five hours, six hours, five and a half. I got exactly four hours of sleep last night. I was so tired today that I was drinking the uh, five hour energy uh, extra strength, whole bottles at a time, and it was doing nothing. Oscar's not here? Oh, Brendan. If you can take a look at the the GPS. Yeah, thing. I was gonna do that. He was gonna do this, and then I was gonna go work on your bike. Oh, By the way, we weren't having sex. That was he was rubbing my neck, and my neck's all fucked up. <laughs> okay, the towel I, is I not for absorbing <laughs> for absorbing drooling. His all of our clothing is on. I feel like I do feel okay. like we I interrupted and that a moment. happened to you. This happened to you the other night. He worked your back too. But you can't prove that. I'm gonna float something out there. Do not kill yourself doing it. I'm gonna like, kill anyone. Spend five minutes on it. If you're like, it if you're like, this yeah. is too hard. Fuck it. I'm gonna figure it out. I would never let you down. You don't look good. <laughs> well, I mean, uh... I fucking love Brendan. I told him that you had never seen me really upset. He goes, that's because he hasn't said the right thing to you. Which made it to me sound like you've pissed him off. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who haven't I pissed off? Me? You never pissed me off until... You asked me to do this stupid fucking race. The stupidest thing I've ever done. We're here. Yeah, is yeah. Oscar not here? He's not here because he left his passport back at that hotel. He'll probably be here about 12.30. His GPS unit stopped working. Okay, we got power here. We got power coming up to this connector. Well, actually, I had my mojo back. And I actually felt good. The scooter just wasn't performing. I was topping out at 62 on the straightaways, and I knew something was wrong. And I, there's nothing worse than getting in a truck, emotionally. So, and I've been there. I don't want to get in there no more. So, I'm gonna putt my way right to the other end if I have to. There's times on this trip, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, toying with the idea of just sitting in the truck. I don't know. I don't think I can do it though. Okay, so that's your battery. That's the battery. Very, very scientific. Just put it back in. See? He's great. I told him. You know? Regional Occupation Training Center, man. That's where I got my mad skills. All right, you light that shit up, bro. All right, let's plug that in. It just lit up! Yeah. You son of a gun. We did All it. right, man. Yeah. We, did it. We, did. we did it. We did it. We did it. I like the fact that I actually was like, oh, you know what? You contribute magnificently. And you've got the fingers of a jeweler. <laughs> hey, what up, man? Hour and 40, according to the driver. All right, cool. Uh, we'll talk about the bike later. <laughs>
Alright, see ya. He's got that dejected sound in his voice. He's just, he, he wants to do this as bad as I do, so I feel bad that, you know, that he was, you know, sidelined like that. Now he's out like 500 bucks in rides and he's getting in late, all for the cost of his bike being, you know, fixed. So he can torture himself for the next four days. Driving east, the plan is east. Once again, let's make my foot of this thing. Yeah. Yesterday was a little rough. Matt's like, oh, it's good to just have a relaxing cruise day. Are you kidding me? You were hauling ass the entire time. It did make me realize that I am capable of going fast. And you've just not been pinning the throttle the entire time, or what's that? More or less. I left my rain suit in one of the hotels along the way. I have an engine check light that's happening on my bike right now, so I don't know, I might be broken down. In a, in a, 10 minutes for all I know. Some people, they're saying, yeah. Your tire is fine. There's a Vespa dealer in Sault Ste. Yeah, Marie. they can change it. You're going to be fine. Starting to fucking crack, dude. Are you not gonna get wet? This is gonna keep you from getting wet, right? Yes, you better. Of course, it won't let me get my fucking camera. I hate seeing it like this. I tell you, you're having a hell of a day. You can't operate on like four to five hours of sleep a night and not. And I'm ten minutes efficient without going fucking insane. All right, you good? Yeah. You good? All right. All right. We'll see you in a bit. It is 48 degrees and raining, and we are headed to Saint-Marie. I can find beef a roo. Uh, yeah. Wrong way, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> 
Back at it again. All right. 26 mile detour. I didn't trust my fucking odometer. I'm going to lose this thing. Just on the basis that I suck. When I was lost, I loaded up the GPS and tried to take me back to the hotel that we started in. So that was useless all day, because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to use the GPS. I'm probably one of the few people, maybe even the only person, who didn't make a wrong turn today. <laughs> I've sort of given up on the whole anger thing. I mean, I'm frustrated, but I'm not like raging like I was the first couple of days, where I was absolutely filthy rage. Uh, now it's just uh, sadness and disgust. I, I just be consistent, not make a missed turn. I don't look at the points. If I really was into the whole racing aspect of it, I wouldn't have done a group ride yesterday with my competitors. It's not who I am. Yeah, why would you be hanging out with boss? Well, why would he be changing his tire? Why would I be changing his tire? That's what I do. I just want everyone to finish, because eh? it would suck if you don't finish. I got pulled over by the cops today for um, speeding and a uh, report of reckless driving. I sit on this fucking thing all day. I don't know why I'm sitting on it now. Oh, daddy is all hopped up on goofballs right now. Woo! Made all the checkpoints. Kicked those 50cc scooters' asses. You look great. What do you do? You pop some nut pills? Let's go fucking nuts tonight. Let's do it. Well, you got happened? any more of those? Did you crash? You hit a deer? Nope. You just got lost? Nope. Got a ticket? Nope. I took, well, I took three epinephrine. I'm up, baby. Epinephrine? I want some. I should complain about it and kick it or something. And, and but you know, because it'll fuck up or something tomorrow. I don't know. No, it's, it's been all right. I'm, I'm working through all the issues. It's fine. It doesn't matter we got here. I'm happy. That's all I care about. Oh, what a dream today was. This is the greatest idea you've ever had, wow. this race. I love this race. I was screaming in my helmet this morning when I forgot to take the photo. I saw you whip back there. I was oh, like, like oh, motherfucker, screaming. Did you remember to take a photo here? It's at the bridge. I know, I was just trying to trick you. Ba boom! No one's getting daddy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucking flew right past us. Twice. Never let us catch up to you. Tell you. Being chased by zombies. <laughs> well, last night I didn't sleep, but maybe three hours. That's the problem. I was able to, but with my mojo back, I, I can run without sleep. If I'm sucking my thumb, you go to sleep. On the bike. I mean, right. we, we, had, we did 12 hours. All right, it's 12 hours. It and it, it, feels, it, it, feels like, it feels like it's only been six. I made good time yesterday, but I got to say it's nice to have Oscar back. Yesterday sucked ass. And I didn't get in until 1.30. Yeah, and then we woke up at six so we could ride. Oh, my God. It's like the all-drug Olympics right now. Is our performance enhancing drugs frowned upon in the scooter cannonball run? I think, I don't know, I just personally, I think they're a necessity. I'm so numb right now. I was like thinking of something earlier I needed to do or think about or adjust or whatnot, and I can't think of what it is now. Oh well. I'm sure it'll occur to me in the morning right before something stupid happens. Bike was running perfect, just, just so smooth. No muffler, so it's, it's basically running a straight pipe and uh, it's going through a liter of coolant every day. It's running. I think I got another day. I think I can limp it to the finish line. That's about all I can uh, hope for, right? I'm still clocking times. You know, I picked up all the checkpoints in Os since Oscar was out. So looks like, at the very least, I'll, I'll beat Oscar. You know, I'm not going to be dead last. We're not there for the points. We don't really care. It's, you know, it's fun. It's just to say you did it. It's bragging rights. That's all it is. I've said the word race to so many people so far that I've met. Like everybody and every guy, what do you guys do? I've seen a lot of scooters through here. Oh, uh, we're doing this, we're doing this, because it's the only, you can't say endurance event. Timed endurance event. I'm like, you mean a race. It's horrible. Hey, we'll get some time. All right, lost. All right. Yeah. You better be beating some 50cc boys. I've already come to grips with the fact that I'm losing. What do you got? 727 kickoff. 824. B for Rue. 1137. 1137. Okay, you have 1621. 
Aaron has 14-12, so you are in the lead now. Yes. Yes. Lead in front of him. Yeah. This was never a race for me in the first place. For me, this was always about, you know, you know, me and my buddy, cross country touring, you know, on scoots before each of us gets married. You know, he just got engaged too, so. It's a buddy trip, you know? It's always been about that. Matt is my favorite competitor of this whole thing. Absolutely. He's just quiet, gets up, does it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gets out. He's a machine. He's good. I'm going to the points now. You're five points behind him. Dope. And I was three points ahead of him. Oh, were you? Yesterday. Oh, OK. Neck and we're neck. duking it out. Yeah. I can't afford any of these nav issues. Nope. You can't, you know, go face to face with a robot like that <laughs> when you're an organic human like I am. <laughs> All right. So you can't beat a scientist. Uh, that just ruins my night. Yeah, you're close. There's still three more days. Thank yeah. you. Yep. No How are you holding up? Oh, I'm worn out. I was at a stop sign today. There was like two guys in a truck like right next to me. And I just saw this thing, you know, people like going, like hitting his buddy, like pointing at it, which was a win for me. That's all I want. I want someone to get a giggle out of it. No one's giggled once. No. Because they all hate me. You were unhinged yesterday. Oh my God. This whole race is like a prison sentence. It's a prison without any walls. You're just confined to the fucking scooter, and your whole life is that scooter, and you can't get off it, and you're just stuck with it. You just have to go through the slog and just do the time. It's just brutal. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> We've got to turn the lights off. I've got to get some sleep. I can't understand why we're not winning. <laughs> Do you think Matt's doing the same thing in the next room? Staying up till one in the morning, babbling Jack and drinking Daniels. Jack Daniels in bed. I can't understand why we're not winning. 270 miles of rain. I have been very positive for the most part about how this was, this really wasn't stupid. This was, this was an adventure. Today it's stupid. Fuck today. I want to stay behind me, you know. Teleport me to tomorrow. It turned over 90,196 this morning, so, yo, Honda. <laughs> I, I may be slow, but I'm there every night. <laughs> yeah, since the pop it broke down a couple of times. Got it going. Wait, it looks like we're gonna suit up and get out. I love it. Dressing like a ninja, padded up and armored for our uh, all of 30 miles per hour. All right, goodbye, Sault Ste. Marie, or however the hell you say it. Be careful. The race is about an hour. Everything is just fucking seized up. Lawson's back is completely jacked up. <laughs> what day is today? Day eight? It's like I just, the warranty ran out. Got me. We need a massive favor. Oh, God. OK, ladies and gentlemen, the healing hands of Chachi. Save his life, Chachi. Oh, my God. I think I can barely breathe. Oh. A wonderful test of manhood, this race. Oh, my God. I do, dude, I'm fucking freaking out. Like, I can't trail the bike. Certainly not for physical reasons. Oh, God. What is that? What is that? Be gentle. Be gentle. Yeah. I don't care how this looks. Oh, what fucking asshole talked me into this? Oh, oh, right there, that's pretty good. There's no way I'm trailering my bike for this. Is, is that still your foot? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like a fucking chimpanzee's foot. <laughs> oh my God, chimp foot. I think I still gotta get ready. I'm just like, yeah. I, know, I know. Back in England, you drive for six hours and you've done the full country. <laughs> That's it. There's no other further to go. Down here, you've just got to the next gas station. <laughs> it's insane. Oh my god, it actually does feel. Oh, it does feel a little better, believe it or not. A lot of people say, boy, if only I had the time, but I, I'm not sure that that's the only thing that holds them back. A lot of people express caution, especially to women. You shouldn't travel alone, you shouldn't. A whole list of things that are perfectly rational and reasonable but they're the ones who don't do it. If you talk to the ones who do it, there's no reason not to, you know, unless, you know, you have 
babies to feed and a job that's going to fire you. But but uh, if you don't have that, go ride. Look at this. Look yeah, at look me. at you. You're moving. Look at me. So how are you feeling? Like great. You look like you got some sleep too. I got plenty of sleep. Good. Yeah, okay. I feel good. You know, I just driving along and you snooze just for a little bit. Yeah. Come back Wake up. Wake right up. Fine. Yeah, that center strips are. Yeah. <laughs> rum, 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 rum. Okay, okay, Let's okay. count to six. Up. <laughs> So, so sexy. This is day eight. I really should have spent the hundred bucks on the uh, GPS mounts. Yeah, it'll be the difference between me winning or losing for sure. Almost forgot this. us less than 12 hours so this is probably our sh shortest day i have to say honestly this was like hands down the worst day so it wasn't that charming you know like oh this is such a pain in the ass and it took so long we had to go over billy goat trail and you know swap stories about it, it just blew <laughs> these bikes were not meant to do this it's like it's like the, half the time i was thinking like we do not belong here. 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 I'm just the whole time. I'm just thinking of, of how I'm going to stay alive every day. I'm sure everybody else is just like, this is the greatest thing ever. I'm just painfully aware of all the shit that can kill you on the road when you're on, on two wheels, which is everything. Cars were going by and the only thing that ran through my head was Shah! pretty much. Might have been a little more masculine, but I don't. And you with that thing at the end? And that's my antique. It's a nice scooter. But that should be scooting around town. No, not that one. No, not that one. I have a scoot around town scooter. God bless you. <laughs> Probably got more balls than half the guys here. <laughs> God love you, honey. No wonder I can't get a date. Just got to keep the scooter running and go as fast as I can. And whatever happens, happens. You know, it's what I've been doing the whole time. <laughs> You know, just keep a steady pace, keep it uh, on the road. So far, so good. Just knowing that I'm on a faster bike and I'm still five points behind, you know? And I don't really care. I mean, I don't really care, but it would be fun to win, you know? I, I care more than Matt, I think. Hello, Mrs. Clark. Where's that monkey? <gasps> it's Daddy! Hi. <laughs> oh, look at that. Why do I feel like the worst father in the world? Why? That's terrible. Oh, it's... Look at this reaction. I know. It just makes me want to be home now. It makes me want to just like get on a plane. Miss us? Yes, terribly. You don't care. I don't? Oh my god. You're in love with your bike now. <laughs> I gotta um get this monkey to bed. All right. I go, baby. I'll talk to you later. All right, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, I want to go home. Two more fucking days. We lock our bikes to each other so that way someone is less tempted to try to steal one or the other. I don't know if that's really funny or kind of sweet. I don't know. Lawson must be winning by now. Yesterday, he beat us pretty handily. So, you know, hope he breaks down. 
Uh, I hope I hope he does not break down. I hope he finishes gloriously. At the very least, I'm not coming in dead last. I propose that we postpone this march until this platoon is better rested. That's what they say. They say we're gonna sit around the next Monday and say, what the hell just happened? It's funny, it's like, if you ask me what hotel was this or what day was this, it's all, all blur right now. It's gone by really fast. I posted today that I don't want it to end. It's actually uh, quite fun and the thought of having to go back to work sucks. If I could get another few weeks off a couple years from now, I would say yes. I would do it again. Some of the other cannonballers said that it kind of gets in your blood and, you know, you want to go to the next one and after that. Because, I mean, uh, like Mike Smith over there, he's a returning cannonballer and Jim T's done it three times. So I'd do it again, I think. It's adventure, you know? How often do you get, like, real adventure in your life? Like, vacation's one thing, but adventure is another. I'm amazed the girls are going, or women are doing really well. Most Harley riders wouldn't ride and shit like that yesterday. It's just a different class of women, I guess. Scooter women. I need an egg sandwich. Well, you need your sandwich. Hot oh, dude, the most important meal of the day. Not for me. I love how we've turned into like a bitchy, <laughs> we've turned into like a bitchy married couple now on this trip. Right. We, nope. Are we, yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just wanna go home. Group kill. With room for more. Oh man. Well, you know, I had a, had a bad variated. So I went down to the Honda place and told them my situation and they loaned me the twos. I sat down right there and replaced them. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna ride. Hell with this. I was gonna get on the truck. More people are on the old bikes, you know. I think I think they'd have a little, little different appreciation for for what goes into uh, making this thing happen. It, it's really unfortunate though because this one is probably about 10 miles an hour slower than what it was before I blew it up. So it's really really slow. That's okay. Life in the slow lane. Hey, hey oh! 14 hour day. Not We're bad, not but it was great riding. You know, I would trade I would trade a, a short day like yesterday for a longer day like today, any day of the week. <laughs> Holy crap, it's cold. I mean, come on, Adirondacks, you know, versus, you know, Kootenay Pass, let's be real. Yeah, I had the first real meal tonight since Vancouver. Otherwise, it's been like Subway and gas station food. Oh, yeah, we had McDonald's. That was oh, I haven't, I haven't done that yet. I've, I've, I haven't stooped oh, that delicious. low. <laughs> One and only meal, McDonald's. My phone died after I left the hotel, so I only have helmet cam footage. So I have to see if I can string something together that is acceptably legal. Bagel's been very strict. I don't know. I yeah, know. man, he was like pounding me. If I don't get points, I'm out of it. I'm like five points behind Matt right now. For yeah, but class. nobody's winning against me. Fuck all y'all. I know. <laughs> I know. Here's Bel Air. 741. Travel Lodge. 713. 713. Oh my goodness gracious, sir. What? Well, well, you're here. 
just always excited to see yeah. you. Like, <laughs> I'm always convinced every single time you've been mauled by a bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they will go down as legend for sure for this. Definitely. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I would do it on a 50, but I wouldn't do it in 10 days. I mean, this right. is like, you know, insane. Yeah. These guys are nut buckets. At the, bo at the border crossing, you know, he's like, is this your first time doing this? I'm like, yeah, it's my first time. You gonna do it again? I was like, <laughs> not on this bike. <laughs> if you think I'm doing this shit again. <laughs> I might do it again on a big bike, you know? Have fun, get in early, hang out. This, uh, this race is totally making me bipolar. It's just turning me into a bipolar person. Like, I'm, I'm now so, I'm so into it now. I'm pumped. <laughs> this morning I was like, I fucking hate this thing. Now, now I'm organizing it next. I'm organizing the next one. Room one. If Corey gets eliminated, his points get eliminated today, I think that bumps me up a notch. I'm not saying it's a gentlemanly way to go, go up there, but you know what, that's cannibal. It's mental errors. I made a mental error. That's why I'm in the fucking basement right now. My phone ran out of batteries this morning, so. And do you have GPS or anything? Yeah, I film my cam footage, but I don't know if that really is gonna help a lot. I'm, act I'm now actively rooting against these points. And then the last one was Heron Lane. Yeah, that's where he curved through and then made the next right. Okay. So did you switch tapes or did it just run no, out? That's it. Oh, crap. So that's it. All right, well. That's all I got. It's not fair, but guess what? Life isn't fair. Now it's ahead of you by 70 points. Okay. So. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Yeah. Well, all right. It's a dead leg. God. Oh no. Did his bike, did his bike shit the bed? Like, what did it? Oh, I think it was electrical. That's a, that's a shame on the Japanese bikes, man. Figure a way to take that plug apart. Boom, 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 boom. All three. This is going to rectify, right? This one? I always do this shit on night one. So all the fuses are okay. So I went into here, yeah, those, every one of those, see all those? They all was working. Yeah. Corey's knocked down. Corey lost 70 points. I still don't know how the points work, by the way. I'm 70 points down. I don't know how I'm 70 points down. I don't know how this works. I haven't works. really looked at how the points work. I don't know what it does for my points. If I really wanted to win this thing, I should have dicked around on the first day and I should have been running GPS. That would have been... Mm -hmm. That would have been the smart move. Don't you can't get down on yourself by saying like, we've never done this before. This idea of an endurance event is that you're just racing against yourself. So I'm 70 points behind now, due to the fact that I didn't charge my phone. So shame on me for not charging my phone. That's cannonball, I guess you know. I'm so. just saying I didn't lose to the 50 CC guys. I'm not right. celebrating that I beat them. I'm just right. saying. I just don't want to lose to them because I will never, I won't hear the fucking end of it. This really wasn't a fun trip. I'm serious. Getting beaten by a guy with 20 less cc's than me, you know. Despite me actually trying to put the hammer down. It's, it's, you know, it's all the stuff Bagel said first day. Consistency, preparedness. Not breaking down. That's how you win cannonball. Why is this pillow damp? <laughs> Oh, these fucking motels. Here comes glory. Here comes infamy. Here comes a, here comes a dip in the pool and a long night's sleep. I'm ready for fucking sleep, which is bad because I'm going home to a two-year-old. Uh, are they out there? We gotta go. The Oz is out there with the boys. Oh God! It's like this is our tribute to, to the 50 CC guys. I'm exactly. Saying. This is for you guys. That's right. Let's go, Tower. <laughs> this is for you guys, the 50 CC guys. We're riding all day. <laughs> this tribute to you boys. <laughs> How long have you guys owned this? Too long. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thumbs up. Here we go. Awesome. All right. All right, meetings. Thank you. All right. <laughs>
So uh, today, there's a ferry. It is a free ferry. Okay. Um, that is uh, where you cross into Vermont uh, across Lake Champlain. The end point, by the way, is a boat ramp where you can dip your front tire in or your toes or whatever. And uh, it should be, uh, be a beautiful ride. Thank you. Nice Thank you. I'm never doing a blog on a cannonball again. All the people at home, they're like, oh, that's great, blah, blah, blah. Screw you. You're not trying to do this shit at 12.30 or 5.30 in the morning. All right. About time to mount up, otherwise known as thinking cap time. Guys, I'd like to read a little quote here for you for your last day. Bones heal, chicks dig scars. Pain is temporary, glory is forever. That's right. Evil Amen. fucking Knievel. It's been good. Been good. Really glad I did it. Even if I were to put on the truck, I think I have enough points to pretty much stay in the, in the lead. I'm sorry to see people break down. It'd be nice if the whole crowd that started would also end at, in Portland. Oh, man, I do not blame the it's machine. Not the scooter's fault? Not the, my the operator? I, every bit of it. Every <laughs> flat bit of it. Here, let me, come on, let me, let me, let me do this like a man. This is how evil would do it. It's the last day, so I've got a bit more, a bit more adrenaline, I think. Should be good. Very tired, very tired. I've seen some amazing things and met really nice people. So, it's been good. Looks like Jim's not riding today. I'll have some company on the last night. If it's any consolation, it looks fucking outstanding. What? You look outstanding. <laughs> when I got on the bike, I actually, I, I was like, this is going to be pretty awesome. <laughs> I, I made this run more for bragging rights than anything else. So all, all the people said, yeah, you're crazy for doing it. And, you know, and I don't think uh, too many of them thought I'd, I'd make it. But, uh, I, I, well, I told you I could do it. <laughs> Even an old man can make it. <laughs> Say take 73 south right here. 73 south, all right. Fucking, oh my god, it's already a shit show. I can't believe your GPS is sending us in the wrong direction already. And your blinker's on. Right here? Lawson. What? Lawson. Pull over. We're supposed to go nine south. That's the other direction. What the fuck is with this piece of shit? I don't know. We're, we're back that way. Go this way. Motherfucker. Well, we're off, we're off of my map now, so follow yours. All right, got it. This thing uh, 
He's gonna keep the Savage and keep going down that 89 or 87 for like another 20 miles. I just saw that ferry, but there's like there's multiple ferries, right? Right. We've been heading north for like 50 minutes. We can go to that Vermont ferry and just cut straight across. Cause this thing actually I have it set to avoid ferries. Oh. So do go put it back in, say take ferries, see what happens. Take ferries, you fucking asshole. I was the first scooter to get here. I didn't know what the point situation was. So I assumed I was behind and decided to race today. It was a tour for nine days and then one day of racing. <laughs> and I am surprised I came in first in my class. I am surprised. Fucking perfect timing. Yeah, no kidding. I, I wonder if we actually might beat them. His timing was perfect. I forgot about that ferry thing I had on. That's why I was sending it way up there. I think we were supposed to take a lower ferry, actually. Oh, really? Great ride. Best ride of the whole week, I think, it today. Oh, it's yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous and fast. Yeah. I'm still waiting for Corey to come in. Norman fucked us again on the first and the last day. If we actually knew how to use these things, we'd probably be in better shape. Oh, I was so elated. I was like, oh, he wins! <laughs> oh, fuck. Yes! Yeah. Woo! Happy to be here. I kind of wish it would go a little longer, but then part of me doesn't. Here comes Star. He's on this. Hey! Hey! I just realized I think this could put me put me in dead fucking last beyond Aaron. I think Aaron may have beat me on the 50 scooter. I think that's uh, a definite. Uh, you can probably count on that. I say we just enjoy the day. Two buddies on the road. We're such losers. Cheers. I made it to Fort Wayne. Day one feels like a gazillion years ago. Uh, uh, I made it. Two cannonballs, not a mile on the truck. So. Everybody here? No. Here, pull over. I just put in, I just punched in the end. This is southwest on Portland Road. That's totally off whatever these directions are, but okay. I'll follow you. I mean, there's a sign up there that says Portland, like, 68 miles or something. Wait, that way? No, that way. Oh, well, we can follow him. I kind of want to do this fast route. So we're going that way? And your blinker's on. So we're waiting on how many people? Yeah, Pete, we yeah, heard Pete, Pete broke down. Pete broke down on the, on the ferry. Pete? Hey guys, before it gets too dark, you want to get up together for a group shot or something? Songs of you in the hills. <laughs> <laughs>